Hi everybody. Back after a while, I've not been online for about three weeks now. We've basically, the whole family has been ill with these, these viruses that have been going about at the moment. Plus I've also had problems with my knee. Uh, what happened there is I think I told you in my previous video that uh, I had a dodgy knee. I don't know why, just once a year it sort of just plays up and um, it's been giving me trouble and I, then it gets better after about three to four days and then it don't happen again for about another year. But um, what happened this year, I had about a week's break and then it played up again. And the ensuing situation was that I ended up going to the uh, doctors, they gave me some strong anti-inflammatories. They also took some blood to do some tests and they also done an x-ray. The x-ray come back and said that there are mild to moderate changes with me knee, so I don't know what that means. I haven't gone back, it's, it's basically near enough back to normal now, but it's probably general wear and tear because in that last three weeks as well, I've also just turned 51 years old. So my birthday was on the uh, December the 15th. So, you know, we had a nice little time there. But as I say, we've all been ill. Sharon's had this virus. I've had this virus that goes and then comes back and it drags on. Sharon had it for virtually three to four weeks. I've had it for three to four weeks. Uh, our children have all had it and their partners and also the grandchildren of all that and even little baby Adam and Emily, the little little smallest uh, addition to our family, uh, hers turned into pneumonia and she was hospitalized for five days. So as you can imagine, it's been quite a, a testing time. But um, I haven't done any work on the cars or bikes or the hydrographic setup, but we've had to keep our businesses ticking over because we obviously sell lots of other stuff as well, information products and also uh, merchandise, which we actually create and we've obviously been doing stuff here so you know we've been doing our graphics on our t-shirts here's one we've just designed or had the a, a company come and uh asked us to do uh this is for a dance academy apparently so we've just uh, put the main logo on the front there and when you turn it over they wanted a row of colored similar logos down the back there and as you can see these are all done in clothing vinyl Look very nice actually. Yeah, I shall hold it up. Let's have a look when you, when you hold it up. So as you can see, that's the front of it. And when you spin it round, on the back down the centre, they wanted them all going down the centre, they look quite nice. So we've got possibly, uh, about how many of them, Sharon, roughly? 130. About 130 of them to do, so we've got a big batch. All them designs had to be cut out individually and also laid onto the garments individually. But um, anyway, that's that. Now you might remember that um, Direct Bikes moped that we keep getting back for repair. Well, we've had it in the garage now for uh, a couple of weeks now. I've been waiting for some parts for it. The final part has just come. So let's just take a walk out there now and I'll show you what we've been doing to that. Well, as you probably know, this is that um, Direct Bike moped that we have worked on many, many different times. And it, it come back again. It uh, it needed a controller for the electric start. It needed a new controller for the electric start. The clocks were all broken. What else was it? So we got the clocks which we changed. The light uh, switch for the electric start, as you can see there. Uh, that was buggered. It needed a new belt. This was the old belt. Let's take that up and show you. Where are we? As you can see, look, it's got a bit of a chunk out here. That's been replaced as well. And it basically wasn't running when we got it back. So we stripped it, all this out again. Remember we had all this out before the tank because the chap whose bike it was had been filling it up from an old rusty can and that blocked up the, um, the uh, carb. So anyway, it wouldn't start. And we ended up stripping the tank out again because inside the tank there's a little filter and that had loads of rust in it again. So apparently he'd still been using that old rusty tank to fill his bike up. So we cleared the tank out again and the filter. Uh, the carb was all right. So it really, it wasn't letting fuel through the actual underneath the tank. You've got a little, um, a non-return valve or it only, it only pumps fuel when there's vacuum from the engine. It's got two vac, it's got a vacuum line to it. So when it starts sucking air through the inlet manifold, it opens a, a set of bellows in it and then it pumps fuel, but that weren't working, but we've sorted that out anyway. Now, when we, when we started it up, it, it rattled like a ripe pig. And what we found out, let's show you. Now, this is the old variator that come off of it. And God knows what happened to this. 
but um, as you can see this is the sleeve that goes through the middle and that is loose as anything look we're really slapping around there so the back of it where you've got these variator weights which obviously sit in here let me put these in first and show you I don't know if you can see that, then weights are in situ, you've got these little plastic clips here which are supposed to sit on there like that and then that's how your variator is supposed to be assembled and it basically goes in and out with centrifugal force depending on how fast the engine's rotating which in turn alters the uh, width for this and that means the belt can either ride higher or lower but this is all slack and wobbly and then when I actually took this part of the variator out you should have these three little plastic clips which obviously are supposed to locate on there they was broken and I don't know if you can see there all these wheels you probably can't see these on there I mean they, 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 they've all got notches in them and they're flat so God knows what's happened there so the only way out of that was to buy a new variator well I've actually got a new variator here if I open that up for you and this one as you can probably see that's what we're looking at there you can see them plastic clips that are supposed to sit on these shafts there and if I take that off underneath there you've got the variator weights which as you can see run freely up and down that uh, little channels there and they are perfectly round so these are actually fine so this is a brand new variator so if I just put that back in there like that and as you could probably see this shaft here which goes in there is no play at all there's no there's a tolerance fit there as you can see look so it's just an in and out movement but that thing there as I said to you I don't know what went wrong there with this one but that one look at that look all that loose slack there so we just got to put this variator on now and then we'll give it a try right okay here we are now this is the actual crankshaft as you can see there and as you can see there's no play in there if you remember with the TGB moped when we wiggled that we had loads of play in that so that's the um, that's the crankshaft there and I'm going to take this variator out now don't forget it's fully assembled and I'm literally just going to place that over our crankshaft and drop it on that goes in like that now this is our um, starter motor ring gear which is the next thing to go on but before we do that I'm just going to lift that belt put that over let's get that in position make sure that belt goes over correctly let's find a big flat bladed uh, screwdriver there and get it over that little collar there so that's on there so that's the belt in place and put the uh, thing back in place for the uh, starter ring gear we've also got the um, little cooling fan thing and that there like that Right, okay, that's it back together. I've put the side casing back in. Let's turn the keys on and let's see if we'll start. That sounds a lot better. Superb. Purring like a kitten. Not bad. Well, that's another job done, or another multi job's done actually, on this direct bikes moped. So that's nice and quiet. So we'll put all the old parts together. 
stick them in that box there that's the old variator uh, that's all totally worn as you know and stick them all under the seat so you can actually see what's been changed so there's a whole host of uh, broken parts as you can see there that we've actually changed on this moped look at that look these parts are probably worth more than the whole bike put together but um, there you go so that brings this little video for a close this is the first actual work that I've really done out in the log cabin as you know we've still got the uh, hydrographic setup awaiting completion we've still got the TGB bikes there I'll just show you what did come for the uh, TGB moped the other week which again is all part and parcel of uh, the the installation there now this is actually a 60cc uh, slightly bigger bore kit for the TGB moped so that's going to go on there that's brand new which will just give it a little bit more extra performance there so that's one little thing I've still got the uh, crank to source for the uh, moped yet and as you know, I'm still waiting to get this hydro graphics uh, set up. Now, as you can see there, I was actually lacquered. This is one of the test shapes that I actually did. I don't know if you can see the gloss of that. Let's try and get you under the light there. Look how that come out. That come out really, really lovely. That's got a coat of lacquer on it now, as you can see. That's a 2K car lacquer. And yeah, I'm well pleased. This is my first professional dip, so to speak. And I think you will agree that that's come out really, really nice now. That's a, as I say, a proper 2K hard lacquer on there. I've not cut it back or anything. That's purely out of the spray gun, which is my Devilbis SRI with a 1mm uh, HVLP tip in it. So that's what we've achieved there. And I think you'll agree that that's quite a lovely pattern. That um, uh, This is called Sticker Bomb, which those of you in the hydrographics industry will probably know that anyway. But that's Sticker Bomb. As I said, that's purely out of the actual gun, so that's no rubbing or cutting back at all, but I'm pretty pleased with that result there. Well, hopefully now that we're over the uh, worst of it, we've got Christmas coming up very, very shortly in seven days' time, and we're thoroughly looking forward to that. We've had a bit of a bad year, as you know, we lost my mum this year, and we also lost my eldest dog, uh, Duke, the big, the big Labrador as well. We had a bit of a crappy year before that as well, when my mum actually started going downhill, but... Um, Let's look forward now to next year. We're going to get out here a lot more and do a lot more work. We've got this to set up still, as you know. And for all those people who did leave a, a thank you for a, a, a birthday message for me on Facebook, thanks very much indeed. And it was really nice to get some uh, kind feedback off of, um, off of my subscribers. And also, thanks for watching this year on YouTube as well. We've actually got more and more uh, subscribers now. We passed the 2,000 mark now, which was a great uh, marker for us. And we actually... Um, as you know that we had a t-shirt giveaway for the 2000 uh, subscribers uh, base which we've got now i've had lots of people asking me where we've been well that's what's been the matter i've not been very well sharon's not been very well we've been looking after the kids when the parents haven't been well and stuff like that so you know family life's got in the way it's not got in the way that's the way we like it so but you know we're going to enjoy our christmas and then we'll see you definitely in the new year with lots more of, uh, of the stuff you like to watch basically uh, we've got the, the uh, garden which is going to be start uh, work on again very very shortly I've not done nothing for that for months and months and also as you know the uh, mopeds I've got to finish I've got another moped which is the Piaggio moped to do I've got the Triumph to finish off I've got the Rel Robin Reliant and the Robin Regal uh, to do in the restoration uh, side of things and we've got the hydrographics to set up as well so lots to watch Thanks very much for watching this video. I am back now, as I say. We're going to enjoy our Christmas and we'll see you a lot more regular in the new year. And thanks very much and hope we uh, still get you subscribing and watching our videos. Thanks very much and bye for now.